The sun has set on Legacy Stadium and we are set for some Grandview Girls Soccer. 
The Bruins of Cherry Creek will take on the Grandview Wolves. Cherry Creek coming into this game undefeated, sitting at 9-0-1 and number six in the Chassa RPI standings. They look to remain undefeated and look for their 10th win of the night on the other side. Grandview Wolves searching for their seventh win in their 11th game played. They sit at 14. This was this game has major implications on league. Both teams undefeated in league. The Grandview Wolves, their only tie coming in league. And same with the Bruins to the Warriors of Arapahoe and the Wolves to the Cougars of Cherokee Trail. So we get ready tonight and kick off. Bruins will start with the ball. I'm Jake Chow, happy to have you here up in the press box. Creek in white, Grandview in black. As Prestwood kicks us to the right, Prestwood, she has one point on this, or excuse me, two points, has a goal, came against Mullen. And there's Sam Maroney. Maroney also has a goal, and it was the game winner against Valor Christian, the team that sits above them at number 13 in the Chiasa RPI standings. And should be a good one. On the other side, it's a little bit of a battle of the Rodgers. Micaiah Rodgers, the freshman, sitting with eight goals leading the Bruins, had four against Overland. And Isabel Rodgers with four in the entire season, leading the way for the Wolves, the junior captain. And we'll see who prevails. The Bruins have been scoring in droves so far this season. If you look at the numbers, 99 points. So they're searching for their 100th. A goal will give them 101, even if it was unassisted. And the Wolves was 74. But the goal differential is really what the story of this game is. 40 goals for for the Bruins, 28 for the Wolves. Seven goals against Creek and 10 against the Wolves. And if you boil that down, Creek is scoring 5.7 goals for every goal that they let in. The Wolves only 2.8. So nearly doubling that margin. Actually, more than doubling looking at the numbers. On the far side. Cherry Creek knocks it out. Going to be a Grandview throw-in. Working in the midfield. Nunez passes it off to a white jersey. Push back and lifting it up. Back towards midfield. Top of the box kicked away. Hansen in the mix. Push back up the far side. Towards the middle, looking for Yee. Kicked away, George will collect. Far side, died. Dodd pokes it away. Back to Maroney, the senior captain. Passes blocked. Back up to Nunez. Sam Maroney committed to Michigan State University. And she's going to continue her soccer career there. And one of the most prestigious D1 programs in the country as there's a foul on the Wolves going to bring it back towards midfield. A short kick from way downtown and Daniels watches it away. Ivy Daniels and Jaslyn Roybal have been splitting time a little bit so far this season. Although, looks like it will be Daniels to play the entire game today. Royal has been battling with a little bit of injuries. As there's a foul on Cherry Creek. Going to go the other way. But Ivy Daniels has more than answered the call. The junior in eight games played only has seven goals against. 26 saves and two shutouts, actually. Hovering around that one... Goals against average, Mark, is there's a. <laughs> on, 
near side here. Nunez comes out with it. Pulls back, twists it up, and Cherry Creek coming out with it. Far side, great touch there. And kicked away, gonna be Grandview goal kick. So Daniels to kick away, gonna push it back to her midfielder. Prestwood keeps it on the ground towards midfield, intercepted. And the pass, great position there from Hansen to cut off any potential threat to the box. So just about six minutes through, still scoreless from Legacy Stadium. Prestwood boots it away towards midfield. Battle for it, and Creek comes out with it. They have numbers. And tripped up, whistle blows. It's going to be a foul on Cherry Creek. Going to go the other way. Prestwood to boot away again, looking for Yee. Touch one by the Wolves. Keeping it alive on the far sideline. Dodd kicks it up and pushed away. Creek maintains possession. And tripped up near the 40 yard line. So the free kick from Cherry Creek. Gonna be pushed back to the other end and sent out, throw in for the Bruins. The last couple of matches between these two teams have been really, really tight. Last year, the Bruins came out with a 3-1 victory, although a lot of their goals came in the second half in late. Uh, it was actually a comeback victory, only one goal, but still significant and still um, came at a perfect time in their season and highlighted the struggles of the Wolves last year. The year prior in 2022, the Wolves came away with a 2-1 victory. Another close matchup here at Legacy Stadium and Wolves scathed through. And in the first of two matchups in 2021 saw the Wolves win in double overtime. We get robbed of that this year. No overtime games at all. Of course, unless we need a winner, we don't need a winner tonight. Uh, and the rules, Chassa adopted the rule, or adapted the rule, excuse me, um, to allow for referees to play double headers and potentially get to another game. If a game went over, then that meant that they have to stay in ref and wouldn't be able to make the other game and it led to a shortage of refs. And of course, one of the most important things is having referees. And if you want to be a referee, of course, sign up. There's always a need. As this one goes out on the far side, gonna be Cherry Creek ball. And then the Second match of that year, Creek won one to nothing. That was a COVID year, so it was a little bit ad uh, adapted due to trying to limit contact between schools and clubs and trying to stay in league, so everybody played each other twice. And so it's a 2-2 in the last four matchups. As here's a long ball in the box, and Cherry Creek couldn't quite get to it. And the year before that, in, 20, in 2019, Grandview won two to nothing. They won state that year. And in 2022, Grandview won state as well. So two of the last three matches that the Wolves have won 
they went on to win state, so potentially a good omen. Long kick, sent up. Pass intercepted, booted away, Maroney gathers. Far side goes out of bounds, gonna be Cherry Creek throw in. Looking to center, passes blocked. Not out, centered, blocked again. Trying to center again and sent off. Looks like Prestwood, so it's gonna be a Cherry Creek corner kick, the first of the night for either team. Ball sent in, not out, and finally kicked away there. Looks like Isabel Rogers sent away. Sent back out. Cherry Creek doing a great job maintaining the possession of this game. Maroney jumps up and boots it away. So a little bit of a reset both defensively and offensively for either team. As Hopkins, the... Senior captors, captain, excuse me, is warming up. Throw in. Kick through Cherry Creek in the midfield. And great touch there from George, trying to center for Rogers, can't quite find. Sent back over. Here's Lloyd. Lloyd. Cherry Creek, top of the box, the shot, pushed away by Daniels. An amazing opportunity and Daniels stood in the way. Gonna be a corner kick for the Bruins after that. Sent in, straight on and Daniels is there, straight into her hands. Sent back, Presswood. Back up to Dodd. Far side for Hansen, looking near side, cross court, or excuse me, cross field rather. Jasinowski intercepted. And great footwork from her, gets all ball. Maroney there to pick it up. Collision in the midfield. The center looking for Dodd in the mix and nobody can quite get. It's gonna be Cherry Creek throw in. Deep in their own end though. Throw in and boot it away. Possession Grandview won the first touch. Near side, George trying to put a shot on, goes wide left. Gonna be a goal kick for the Bruins here. So Yee and Hopkins will come on now for Rogers and George. Hopkins tied for first. Five goals, two assists, and 26 shots. Only really a matter of time. Been a bit unlucky. 21 shots on goal as well, so it's been really tough. As here's a long ball, getting around the defender. Lloyd pulls back, Lloyd with space, centers. Dangerous area, and Cherry Creek strikes first. Addy Lloyd off the pass.
Found her man in the center of the box and she wasn't gonna miss from there. Cherry Creek up one nothing. Speaks to the dominance of this team. And let's see how the Wolves respond. Again, this is a match with major playoff implications, including league implications, as here's a great pass. Nunez with space pulls back. Nunez the shot wide right. Great look from Sam Nunez and the Wolves looking to respond quick. So junior midfielder Addison Ball credited with the goal, her sixth of the year. And she lifts the Bruins to a one goal lead early in this game. Great positioning there, Bruins couldn't find it. In the middle of the field, back to Hopkins. Hopkins three on her and she loses it. Sent back, Bruins going the other way. Great footwork there from Prestwood, and she's been a defensive anchor so far this year. As here's a great ball up the near or far sideline, kept it alive. Yi wasn't right there, and it'll be subs for Creek after, or excuse me, before the goal kick. So the goal kick, gonna keep it calm, keep it in their own end, Bruins. Pass, knocked off, three on there. And sent out. Wolves have had a couple of struggles in the midfield so far. Cherry Creek with a great defensive plan to try to trap in a sense. The ball handler. Nunez passes through. Couldn't find Yi and kicked away. Pressword jumping up. Long ball, Yi. Looking to win it. No handball call and now they'll call it. So on the second bounce, Yi in the battle. Grazed her hand, they're gonna call it. Be a free kick for Cherry Creek. 23 minutes remaining in this first half. Lover to take, the senior defender. She pushes up towards midfield. Push back up, Maroney. Trying to get a flying header. <laughs> Couldn't quite get there, Prestwood. Gonna send it back. Push back up and Case Bolt sends away. Sends up the near sideline, Lloyd gets around the defender, sends Baroni flying and gonna be a throw in for the Bruins. Gonna throw it back, sent in and headed away. Yi, looking to win the touch. Near sideline has Jasinowski. Jasinowski sent back to the middle of the field and kicked away. Great effort from the Wolves and they find themselves in a really advantageous position here. So George will come back in. Finds Yi. Sent back, Hopkins. 25 yards out. Hopkins getting around the defender of the shot, floats it up and collected easily. Tegan Hodney, the freshman keeper in her first year varsity, able to clutch it. And speaking of Yi, of course, if that name sounds familiar on the girls' side, actually 
uh, this second option uh, behind Sienna Betts, who was on the front page of Max Preps, actually, um, tonight. Uh, Lexi Yi is in her second year varsity, but in both girls soccer and girls basketball, averaging 7.4 points per game, 22 games played, 2.3 rebounds, and 3.3 assists. So really all over the stat sheet, but on the other side, the story is Addie Beck in her second year varsity as well. Both sophomores, both playing, splitting time on both the soccer field and the basketball court. Addie Beck averaging five points per game, 1.8 rebounds, and 1.8 assists in 24 games played. And she's a really solid option in the number two seed as this one's centered, kicked up, not cleared. Creek trying to settle. Yee sends it away. So the Wolves clear. Dangerous opportunity as a ton of multi sport athletes all around this roster. And Could be a little bit of rivalry, um, of course, between the two squads who see each other every single year in every single sport, uh, but also Addie Beck and Lexi Yee, both sophomores playing in their second year varsity on both the basketball team and the soccer team. So Cherry Creek sitting on a one goal lead here. Pass goes off. Midfield sent back. Here's George, couldn't get her pass through. Takes a hop though. Looking on the near side. Sandler loses it, gonna send back to Maroney. Maroney gonna boot it up near side. Back to Sandler. And Smith trying to get it. And a little touch passing sent out. So close on that near side, right around midfield. And it's going to be Grandview throw in. Allie Smith to take. Prestwood. In her first year varsity, a sophomore. Sent up and couldn't quite settle. We're going to go back to Hodney. Near side here. Lloyd with space. Lloyd has options. Has a defender on her. And runs out of room, Addie Lloyd. Gonna be a goal kick. Excuse me, that's Sarah Lloyd. Just speaking about Addie Beck, so. Had the Addie on the mind, but it is Sarah Lloyd. She has three goals and three assists for nine points. As there's a header, goes the Wolf's way. And Hodney, send it away. That's a great effort also from Katie Reynolds, the Sophomore midfielder in her second year varsity. Has a goal this year and an assist, so. Found the score sheet a couple of times. And great effort, but couldn't quite get there. Here's Hopkins. Hopkins sends through, has Sandler. Hodney's there instead. Coach Wood. Talking about how great of an idea it was and an amazing pass there from Hopkins. Just couldn't quite execute the way that they were hoping. Hopkins on the defense now. And booted away. Maroney in position. Just going to kick it away. So on the near side here, going to be Cherry Creek throw in to take Yariakis. Sent up, 
Reynolds, touch up the far sideline, looking for Dodd, and sent out. So going to be Bruins throw in, and the Wolves playing a little bit of long ball here. This one's sent out, gonna be a, waiting for the call here. So yeah, it will be a Grandview throw in and quick sub, Paige Jasinowski comes on. Prestwood, sent into the box, takes a bounce. Not, not loose, the shot. And blocked enough by Hodney. And oh man, the most dangerous opportunity for the Wolves. Hodney stood on her head. So Hopkins to take here. Rogers will come back on now for Hopkins. So it'll be Rogers to take now. Under 15 minutes to play. Rogers, the junior captain, has taken a couple of corner kicks this year. Outswinger in the box. Sandler trying to settle, kicked away. Top of the box, Maroney sends it high. Right idea there from senior captain Sam Maroney. Just sent it through the uprights. So Wolves couldn't quite capitalize on the opportunity after the Hodney goal, or excuse me, save. Going to be goal kick for the Bruins as they start working up this near side. Header finds Reynolds, sent back middle of the field. George couldn't quite gather. Creek going the other way, gets around the defender. Sent up in great positioning there from Allie Smith. Back to Yee. And she's going to send back to Sam Maroney. She skied it over the net earlier, just a couple seconds ago. And typically, she puts those on frame. Sam Maroney, only five shots, three on goal. Ball sent out, going to be Cherry Creek throw in. Yeah, Sam Maroney, not afraid to jump up in the play and. The goal against Valor ended up being the game winner was she took it from her own end and just dribbled around the entire Eagles team and really a sight to see and shows showcase the ability that she has and the reason why she's going to a D1 program. Ball sent up looking for Sarah Lloyd. Lloyd gets there. Presswood knocks her off Lloyd with space. Lloyd in front of the net blocked by Presswood. Boyd sends it back, top of the box. The shot blocked by Presswood, sent wide. And it will be touched out by the Wolves. So it's gonna be a corner kick. And the pressure is on. So 12 minutes remaining. It'll be Tadlock to take, Casey. Tadlock sends it in, in swinger. Nobody there on the far side. It'll be a goal kick Grandview. Maroney sends it up towards midfield. Yi going to work to the out, to the near side. Looking for Sandler. Can't quite find her. Pass is blocked. Gets around the defender. 
And going to do a little bit of rinse and repeat here. He's going to try to penetrate and then kick back out. And then pass back to the defender. Prestwood jumping up. Cherry Creek crowd calling for a hold. None called. Playing advantage. Sent through. Streaking Bruin. Bruin. Open space. The shot. Daniels. Diving save. Perfect passing from the Bruins. Ivy Daniels is in the way. And if Cherry Creek keeps running circles over the Wolves all night, we're going to be here for quite a while. Far side, Cherry Creek. Pass back defensive line, working midfield here. Sent through, and Smith there, the positioning. And looks like a foul in the midfield. Isabel Rogers asking the ref what he saw. So under 10 minutes here at Legacy Stadium. Cherry Creek on top, one to nothing. A lot of soccer left to play, but Bruins have outplayed the Wolves this far. Far side. Bruins working with it, looking to center. Kicked away and into the hands of Daniels. Maroney tried to clear, went off a white jersey and Daniels was in the right spot, right place, right time and ended up work, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> working out. Bruins going the other way. Maroney got a foot on it. Trying to kickstart the attack. Going up the far sideline. Too much on it. Bruins throw in. Cherry Creek. Touch one by Yee. Defenders behind her. The shot from way downtown. Hodney able to fall on it. Freshman keeper hasn't been challenged much tonight, but when she has, she's ro risen to the occasion, as they say. Far side, Cherry Creek working in the midfield. Centering, great header there. Awareness from Maroney. Sent back. Centered. Bruins with space. Sent back to the outside, looking to cross. The center header, no good. Kicked away. Bruins have done some excellent passing so far tonight. Have been all over the Wolves. and Wolves have done a great job to this point at limiting that and clearing it, but it's been a little bit of a cycle. Sent back over, Yee's in the way. Back to Sandler. Sandler sends up. And miscommunication in the midfield. Bruins pick it up. Working outside. Kept it alive. Reynolds, can't quite gather, sent back, Bruins, midfield, ball, pushes forward, nobody following up, and it'll be goal kick for the Wolves, and a ton of subs coming on, Case Bolt, Hopkins, and Dodd for the Wolves, and Thank you. 
Prestwood sends it up. Pass back and sent forward. Far side here, Bruins. Passing off. Gets around the defender. Working with it. Kicked away. Going to stay in bounds. Bruins going to regroup. Pass back middle of the field. Defenders jumping up. Push to the outside. Too strong. Going to be Wolf's throw in. Five minutes remaining here in this first half. Do the Wolves have a bit of an equalizer in them? Long pass upfield. Nunez on the deflection gathered by the Bruins. Sarah Lloyd, near side. Lloyd, with space passing off. Center of the box, open space, and whiffed on it. Kicked away there by the Wolves. Bruins throw in. And Bruins <laughs> get the ball ref. Initially signaled Wolf's ball, but corrected to the Bruins. Now this one near side, Yi gathers, kick midfield, intercepted by the Bruins. A little stalemate on the near side, Yi comes out with it. Looking for Nunez in the midfield. Nunez. Couldn't quite gather. Midfielder jumped up. Back to Casebolt. Casebolt around two defenders. Casebolt pushing to the near side. Dodd. Dodd gets around the defender. Dodd with 3.30 left. Centering. Has a man. The shot. Hotney there. Dangerous opportunity for the Wolves. And Tegan Hotney, the freshman. Wolves can't figure her out. Great passing, too, from the Wolves, and a beautiful play from both Casebolt and Dodd to get around all the Creek defenders, but couldn't beat the most important one, Tegan Hodney. Near side, ball goes out. Going to be throw in for Creek. One by the Bruins. One, two, passing. Hansen jumps up, disrupts it. Ball one by Dodd, but pushes it out of bounds. Going to be another Creek throw in. We do it all over again. Lloyd pushes back out. Here's Luttrell. Moroni gets a foot on it. Near side. Back to Luttrell. Casebolt pushes up, has Dodd. And Hodney's going to come out of her box to get. So two minutes remaining. Still got an entire half left to play. Moroni jumping up. Moroni couldn't quite get. Back to Hopkins. Gets the ball. Back to Dodd. Back to Hopkins. Defenders collapsing on her back to Dodd. Dodd tries to pull back and ooh, she fell awkwardly. And it's gonna get a penalty. Dodd looks to be okay. Sarah Lloyd checking on her. Great sportsmanship from both sides. Ref's gonna get a warning. Hopkins to take. 
Lifting it in, Hodney there to catch it. Out on the near side, 30 seconds remaining. Going to be Wolf's throw in as there's an injured Wolf down on the field. So after a quick break, looks like Dodd is going to get checked on. She took a tough tumble, and it will be a throw in on the near side for the Wolves with 30 seconds remaining. See if they can find something late in this first half. A little bit of a bo momentum booster. Far side, Hanson knocks off. Creek defender going to be Creek throw in. 20 seconds left. They may be content to just take this to the half. And it looks like they are. Going to waste a couple of seconds, kick it away, and under 10, they're in no hurry. They'll take this lead into the half. So that'll do it for the first half. Grandview trails one to nothing. Addison Ball, the goal scorer for the Bruins, will be back for the second half.
All right, we want to welcome you back for the second half live here on GVTV. We are set for a good one. The undefeated Bruins of Cherry Creek have a one goal lead over your Grandview Wolves. Wolves started to pick it up a little bit at the end of the first half, but have yet to find the scoreboard. And we are away. Wolf's gonna start with the ball, gonna push back towards midfield. Nunez sends through as Smith. Lee on the, Yee on the cleanup, excuse me. And kicked away. Case bolt there, he's gonna fire it on and nobody quite there. So, Tegan Hodney will stay in net and Ivy Daniels Two keepers on either end. Emerson Berg, the other freshman keeper for the Bruins. Although, Coach McCary hasn't put her in yet. Don't know if we'll see her tonight. Bruins working with it on the near side. Here's Willard, kicked away, sent back. Backline Maroney. And a nice step back and good ball finds Yi. Yi has Nunez in the middle. Three on two. Nunez. Excuse me, back to Nunez. Nunez, the shot goes wide. Good look for the Wolves and Nunez sends it wide right. So Hodney. Gonna send it back and and this game, and we've been talking about it all night, has major league implications. CT won, they beat Mullen. Although both teams, or excuse me, the Wolves beat CT, or tied against CT, that is. Uh, Bruins have yet to play them. Both teams beat Overland, and both teams beat Mullen. The difference comes in the Wolves beat the Warriors of Arapaho. The Bruins tied to them and assuming that the Cougars lose to the Bruins, this game will be for league. Although still a lot of game left to play. The shot, Daniels there to clean it up. It's a good ball movement from the Bruins as they begin this second half. Daniels kicks away. Prestwood gonna lift it up. Back to Hopkins, gonna work far side, intercepted. Right idea, just defender in the way, of course. Work back far side, middle of the field, cleared by Creek. Far side, great turn there from Case Bolt. Sent back Hopkins, middle of the field. There's, this is where she works best. And pass left short. Intercepted by Creek, going the other way. Work up the near side, gonna pass off Willard. Willard. And Prestwood, the sliding tackle, dismantles the attack. Creek working with the near side. Yee picks it up. Back to Nunez. Nunez has Hopkins. And <laughs> couldn't quite make up her mind. Wasn't where th she thought she was going to be. So far side. Offside's flag comes up. And that thwarts the promising attack. So the offsides flag came up. Cherry Creek had themselves nearly an open, open field to center and basically do whatever they want. But Lions Judge was there ready to make the call. Far side, Wolves pick it up. 
Centered and kicked away. Going to be a corner kick for the Wolves five minutes into this second half. So it'll be Hopkins to take the corner. Keeps it on the ground, leaves it short. Yee couldn't quite finish, kicked away. Nunez going to reset the offense. Pass is blocked. Cherry Creek going to pick it up and go the other way. And great pass look. Prestwood gets around the defender. Work back up to Hopkins. Work to the far side. Jasinowski pulls back, lifts it up, and Yeek wasn't quite there. Yee working baseline, as she usually does, just on the hard wood instead on the field this time. Trying to get around the defender, going to be a Cherry Creek goal kick. Sent up here, Hopkins. Back over to Yee, Yee. Runs into a defender, Creek going the other way now. Creek with numbers, great positioning from Isis Prestwood. Sent back up, near side, here's Willard. Willard looking to cross and kicked away, Maroney. Thwarts the pass, going to be a Cherry Creek corner kick. And here's Ava Willard. Three goals, seven assists. Watch out. Sent in, bit of an outswinger. Far side, the shot. Hit the outside netting. Keeps this game a one goal game. So Smith, who has her fair share of runs, going to come out for senior Sophia Lucero. Sense up here. Back to Maroney. Trying to start something. Hopkins on the tip, going to find Willard. Pass back, near side, back to Willard. Offside flag comes up again. Great positioning, and she was calling for it all day and had a sh clear shot to the net, but Lions judge brings it back. Nunez lost it. Back over to Lucero, who kicks it out. Gonna be Cherry Creek throwing. Delaney Linig, sophomore defender. George, gonna pass back to Maroney. Kicked up and <laughs> gonna be another Cherry Creek throwing around midfield. Linig to take again. Hansen gets under it, looking for Nunez. Nunez on the second bounce. Back Hopkins, and her kick a little bit too strong for Yi. Willard gets around the defender. Gonna push back out. So far side this time. We'll Jasinowski on the steal. She pulls back. Looking to center. Finds Hopkins. Hopkins settles. Pushes back to her defenders. Hansen going to push it off to Maroney. Maroney. 
back to Prestwood. So the Wolves pushing forward very slightly using their back line, and they like to do that. Prestwood lifts it in. Hodney out to collect. Far side. Cherry Creek passes off back to the middle. Maroney going to send it into the Cherry Creek bench. So subs will come on here. A couple of them for the Bruins and Ali Smith back on for Lucero. Or excuse me, that's for Yee. So Smith will jump up. She plays both midfield and defend defense. So that allows her to be a little bit more flexible. Freshman has two goals, six shots, five of them on net. And she's been a gift for this Grandview girls soccer program. And here's a shot, Daniels punches it away. Great find from it, Ivy Daniels. Just about 10 minutes through this second half. 29 left to play. Cherry Creek with a one goal lead. And as we were saying in the past uh, pregame, in the pregame, excuse me, the last four matchups have been decided by one goal, one goal, one goal, and two goals and the final score. So every single match has been close and this one is no different. Great positioning there from uh, Lindsey George. George pulls back, gonna settle and take some time to develop the play. Prestwood looking to the far side. Jasinowski trying to get to it. Hodney does instead. She rolls it out on the far side. And falls out. So we can get a quick sub. It'll be Hopkins for Yee. Coach Wood opting for a little bit of a younger midfield. Has Yee a sophomore. Smith a freshman. Nunez a senior. Sent back. Finds Prestwood. Prestwood boots it away. Up from Nunez, has Smith. Offside flag comes up. So a really good opportunity, and the Bruins who had two come back. The Wolves fall into the same fate, having one of theirs come back this time. Perfect passing from the Wolves, but brought back at a pivotal time too. This one kicked away. Smith. This one kicked away. Daniels comes out and gathers. Far side. Back to Hansen, sends it out. This one falls out as well. Going to be Cherry Creek throw in as some stalling. Intercepted. Working back towards the middle of the field. Here's Smith. Smith finds Nunez. Nunez trying to get around the defender but loses it in the process. Sent out. So it'll be another Grandview throw in, this time on the near side. Lucero to throw in.
Nunez gets it out of the cluster. Back to Maroney. Prestwood sends it up. And Hodney there again. So the Wolves playing an all out effort here, just having a little bit of trouble connecting on passes and really getting an offensive flow going. Been anybody's game, and if anything, it's been the Wolves game so far in the second half, but haven't been able to connect the way that they may be looking to so far in this second half. So Daniels will pick it up, boot it away. Case Bolt settles, and it'll be a foul on the Wolves. Kick up the near side. Pass blocked by Maroney. Still not out. Picked up by Yee. Far side. Wolves trying to work back in with it. Nunez working for the ball. Nobody could quite gather. Back to Maroney. Sent back to Creek. Here's Lucero, pass back, and back to Maroney. Here's a long ball. Cherry Creek on the far side, going to work with it. Still a lot of time left. It was Matty Hopkins who scored the goal with 30 seconds left against CT in the Arapahoe Derby. And the Wolves have found a couple of last minute goals when they need it, as here's a great ball. Cherry Creek has player in the center. Centers, Lucero gets in the way, still not out. Settle, top of the box, a shot, goal! Cherry Creek extends their lead to two. And oh man, the Bruins may have just put this one away. Beautiful passing from the Bruins, and their hard work pays off. Addison Ball nets her second. Her seventh goal of the season. And the Bruins have their finger on the pulse. So gonna be a foul on the Wolves with a little bit of a collision with the keeper. And they've dug themselves a two goal hole. Ball falls out and the Wolves need to find something quick if they wanna stay in this. 22 minutes remaining. Not that much time, but not necessarily impossible, but chance is getting dim and so is the sky here at Legacy Stadium, way past my bedtime, I'm gonna tell you that. Couple of subs for the Wolves. The throw in on the far side, just about 20 minutes remaining. Cherry Creek, pass back up. George in the way, great positioning. Here's a through ball. Hodney coming out. Boots it away, great header there from Isis Presswood. Really sees the field well. Far side. 
Jasinowski uncovered. Pulls back, trying to get around the defender. Centering. Has George. George trying to settle. Two defenders on her. And loses the opportunity. Lindsey George couldn't quite settle. Bring it to a stop and another opportunity blown. Wolves throw in on the far side. Sends up. Hansen. Jasinowski sends through. Smith couldn't quite get. Hodney's there first and officially under 20 minutes here at Legacy Stadium. Cherry Creek on top, two goals to none. It's all sent out near side. So more subs for Creek and just one Sam. Nunez coming on for Zoe Casebolt. Throwing on the far side, or excuse me, on the near side. Smith picks it up. Back to Nunez. Nunez pushbacks their defender. Here's Lucero. Lost it. Creek going the other way. I have numbers. Three on two. And Hansen, great positioning. So Daniels collects. Reigns. Back to George, airtime on that. Hopkins pushes forward and too soft. Reigns on the far side gets beat. Centered, Presswood could gather and neither could Cherry Creek in the box. Wolves escape just barely though. Collision, going to play advantage. Cherry Creek going to kick it out. So it'll be a throw in. Hopkins, two defenders on her. Going to settle, kick it up. Straight to a white jersey. Back to George, nobody there. Reynolds the right idea, but Cherry Creek just showing their dominance this far. Reigns couldn't get. And it looks like just the Wolves are just chasing. Stays on sides. Creek looking to center. And great defensive positioning. Going to opt for the goal kick instead. So whistle blows, looks like Ivy Daniels went a bit early and that's more seconds taking off the clock and Isabel Rogers set to come on so Coach Wood realizes the situation and desperation ball a bit, ball one. Cherry Creek gonna be Cherry Creek throwing.
Near side, Bruins working with it. Finds the open man, pulls back. Great pass, great defensive positioning there from Case Bolt. Sent out by Creek. Rogers coming on for Nunez. And Nunez an absolute workhorse in the midfield for the Wolves. Ball kicked over the defender and sent back for Creek. Near side, Bruins working with it. And stays alive. Centered. Push back outside. And Daniel scoops it up. Looking around the Grandview world of sports, baseball went on the road, took a 6-4 to four victory over Mullen. A tough 4A opponent in the top 20 and really boosting their resume late in the season here. Boys Volleyball had a home game against Cherokee Trail. Top five Cherokee Trail where they swept them three sets to none. An absolute domination from the Wolves. And that's a huge rivalry match and another team building their resume as the playoffs near. The Centennial League Challenge actually just next week for the boys volleyball team. And of course this match still in progress. 14 minutes to play. Backs against the wall here, two goals. Opportunity, Presswood lifts it in, not out. Front of the box, Smith. And foul called. A huge save, Tegan Hodney. In great positioning there to draw the foul a bit. And the Wolves couldn't quite capitalize. Prestwood gathers, here's Rogers, junior captain, knocked off the ball. Pass off, near side. Finds the open man. Centered, couldn't capitalize, Reigns in the mix, kicked away. So subs on. Going to be Maroney for Case Bolt and Vena comes in for the Bruins. Centered. Daniels coming out and going to gather a great positioning there from Gabby Hansen. Shielding her keeper. Drop kick from Daniels, won by Creek. No contest. Sends up the near side. Here's Willard. Willard. Rolls it, keeps it on the ground. Daniels picks it up. So 12 minutes remaining. Creek up two. Hansen. Cherry Creek working with it on the far side. Centering. And goes wide left. Another huge opportunity in the box and Cherry Creek can't come up with it. The Wolves having a tough time limiting those opportunities and trying to turn them into opportunities of their own.
10 minutes to go here at Legacy. Ball won by the Wolves. Reynolds couldn't find, and Bruins pick it up. Hopkins loses it, sent back Reynolds, and Bruins pick it up again. Shifting over to the far side, officially under 10 minutes here. Reynolds trying to send it through, pass is blocked. The Bruins back line has done an amazing job. As here's a through ball. Cherry Creek centers, nobody's quite there. Sent back. Picked up top of the box. Pass off, Willard. Way downtown. Daniels punches it over and gets her own rebound. Ivy Daniels, great job and great effort to track it back down. Limit the second opportunity. She'll drop it off to Prestwood. Willard coming in and through the legs. Nobody there to pick it up for the Wolves. Miscommunication. Bruins tackle from behind and that's gonna be a card. Clock stoppage. 9.02 on the clock. It's a couple of subs after the foul. Tackle from behind. So set to take Delaney Linig, the sophomore defender. Sent in, Daniels falls on it. Daniels has played an amazing game and really the team around her has as well, it's just that Creek has capitalized on all their opportunities. The Wolves, few and far between as there's a foul on the Bruins. Sent in, long ball kicked away. Second chance picked up by the Bruins. And great position there from Lucero. Keeps it in. Smith. Sent back. Middle of the field. Bruins working with it. And really never letting their foot off the gas here. As Reigns back to Hansen. Boots it away. Grandview throwing on the far side. Eight minutes to work. Jasinowski will come out. Sandler on. 7.30 to play. Hodney comes out and the Wolves couldn't capitalize. Another opportunity that the Wolves could have jumped on and Prestwood. Prestwood jumping up a bit into the midfield. Collision. She's got to get back on defense here. Bruins working with it, push to the far side. Here's Lloyd. Sent back over, top of the box, cleared. Smith couldn't pick it up, near side. Bruins couldn't keep it in though. So Grandview throw in, 
It's going to be George and Nunez on for Hopkins and Rogers. So two captains coming out. 6.30 left to play. Lucero picked up by the Bruins. Cherry Creek on the far side, under six minutes left to play. Push back outside and Bruins doing a great job completing their passes. The Wolves not doing enough to disrupt that. It's really been the story tonight as pass goes out, Prestwood to take, or excuse me, it's gonna be Lucero to take instead. Pass back to Prestwood. Nunez picks up the interception, passes through, looking for Smith. Defender jumps in the way. Wide open, white jersey, and here's Lloyd. Lloyd looking to cross, does. Reigns gets in the way. Reigns clears. So ball picked up on the near side by Smith. And push in the back, and that'll be another foul. Referee going to call it normal foul. Cherry Creek bench one of the, the card. But time will tick away. 4.30 on the clock. Sent up. Bounce takes a Bruins way. And Daniel's there on the diving stop. Wolves have to find something and something quick if they want this miracle. Nunez. Cherry Creek picks it up. And Hansen. There, couldn't quite get around the defender. But it is gonna be a foul in the backfield for going against the Bruins, so it'll be for the Wolves. Prestwood boots it in, falls up short. Handball. Sent through, stays on side. Sarah Lloyd gets around two defenders. And Prestwood kicks it away. So Lord nearly got tripped up. Or did get tripped up rather and nearly had herself in open, open field, open net. Jasinowski coming on, sent back, kicked away. Working up the near side, Jasinowski gets around the defender. Jasinowski pushes out to the outside looking for Yee. Nobody there. Back to the middle of the field. Nunez picks it up. Nunez lost it off the larger defender. Hansen follows it up and kicked away. This one sent out off a white jersey. Going to be Grandview throw in. Two minutes remaining. Back 
Back up to Hodney. And Cherry Creek possession here. Yi going to come up on it. And doesn't really matter as Hodney going to push up her back line. Jasanowski. Great ball towards the middle of the field. Bruins pick it up. Going the other way now. And that's going to be a foul on Yi as she gets sent off, shown the yellow. So Reynolds will come back on. That nine spot. It'll be a free kick for Cherry Creek. A minute 23 on the clock. Foul on Cherry Creek and getting a bit scrappy here late. Wolves down two. Sent up looking for Reynolds, kicked away. Back to Hansen. Hansen in the midfield. Works back out to the outside. Under a minute left. George passing over. <laughs> Reynolds off the bounce. Possession won by Creek. Shot from way downtown, Hodney. Great positioning. And good read too from the Wolves to jump up when necessary, but couldn't quite put on a quality shot, but any kind of offense is good offense, as they say, and the Wolves couldn't find much of any offense at all tonight. Cherry Creek overall was really just the better team and showing their dominance, gonna stay undefeated, gets their 10th win of the season. And that'll do it. Your final score, Cherry Creek 2, Grandview Wolves none. We want to thank you so much for tuning in. And let's go to bed. Good night. We will see you next time.